All right, so let's talk about Kin and Stellar. So for those that don't know, Kin is building a parallel blockchain that will run a different consensus algorithm and that will peg um, Kin that is on the current Ethereum blockchain to um, Kin 2 that is on the other parallel blockchain. Now this parallel blockchain is built on the Stellar code. Okay, so you guys have heard of Stellar. It's a blockchain, all right? It's got its own implementation, everything, all the consensus rules. And what Kin have done is taken this knowledge, taken this code base and modify it so that they can um, build this to curate their use case for what they want Kin, uh, for what they want Kin to become. So, you know, this includes um, lower, lower to non-existing fees, um, faster transactions. So currently, if you want to use um, Kin on the Ethereum blockchain and I want to send some Kin to one of my friends or to one of you guys, I'll have to pay for gas, submit the transaction, wait a few seconds, wait for confirmations. So, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with that, but the use case that Kin wants to go into is to build an instant payment layer, or how can I say this? They want to implement a blockchain that allows users to receive and send payments instantly. So it can be used on social media, for example. Say you're, you have a, an Instagram-like app or Instagram, and you want to tip a user or you want to submit a transaction and receive something. You know, everything has to happen instantly. This could be um, maybe a live feed video. Using Ethereum will be too complicated. Users will have to kind of find a way to always have gas in their account or Ethereum uh, in their account to, to pay for transactions. And, you know, I'm sure with the, with the Stellar Fork and the modifications that they're making, they want to make it as easy as possible for you guys to use Kin on, on the apps uh, that we'll be implementing and that are implementing um, the Kin ecosystem right now. So I'm sure many of you might not be interested in the technical details and I won't go into that. Basically, Kin is now on the Ethereum blockchain. They're building a parallel blockchain that is based on the Stellar uh, code base and they will make some modifications to make transactions easier and uh, they will allow these applications to run um, nodes to support the consensus rules and to uh, grow the network and all the kin that is on the ethereum blockchain will be eventually will be able to swap that for the kin on the stellar blockchain so say i have 1000 kin on the ethereum blockchain in one account one address i can create a swap or um, execute a swap that will allow my balance on the second blockchain to increase to a thousand and that one thousand will be deducted from my um, Ethereum address. So this way you'll have the security of the Ethereum blockchain, the liquidity, and you have access to this parallel blockchain that allows you to um, create really fast, quick transactions that is good for in-app um, uh, transactions um, and it's easier to, to embed, I believe. So, you know, it's it's kind of the best of both worlds. I'm, I'm sure maybe that the Kin team have discussed about moving um, the whole Kin project onto just one code base, uh, the Stellar code base, but I think they want to keep it this way. So um, it's, it's also a safer approach. And, you know, everything in crypto moves really fast. So they are taking their time to study everything and make sure that they don't make any mistakes. You know, you only have one chance at this. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this gave you a, a light overview of what's going on. Um, I will um, link some documents below if you guys are interested in knowing more. If you are interested in the technical details, I will um, I'll put that down there for you and you could check it out.